I thought I'd do a quick video, just a short clip on how I tram in my mill. Um, you can see this is the bar that slides in and out. This clamp here, the bolts are on the other side. It's just all it does is squeeze down and clamp on it. There's no handle, nothing for me to rotate to turn it. It's all manual elbow grease that gets it done. So, <clears throat> as you can see now, it's cockeyed. I had to shove this whole thing back to do some milling on the uh, far side here and it just I, I couldn't do it any other way but to move the head back and I've got it back what I did was I I moved all the way over to see how much play I had here and then I just stuck it in the middle so I'm gonna get it kind of treated up by eye and then I'm gonna get my indicator over here and once I'm all set up I'll bring the video back or the camera back out and uh, show you how show you guys how I do it. All right, so I knocked it by hand straight as uh, much as I could tell. And what, I do, what I do is I take my first indicator and I take it up to the highest point possible I can get in, which is right about there. So I'll take it in, do preload the indicator here and then all I'm going to do is just drop it down to the lowest point which takes a lot longer when you're doing this by hand without a drill motor on here alright so now we're at the bottom and we're I got pretty close only five thousandths off, uh, which is not too shabby. And then I bring in my second indicator and get it set up on the top. Let's see if I can do it here or not. I might have to mess with this a little bit to get this indicator in. All right, so now I've got the top one at zero, which is what that one was set at. Now, the pivot point here is centered about here. So I've got, you know, four inches between these, these, this point and the first indicator, and then about three inches between the other two, or between the two. And what this allows you to do is they're both, you know, this one was set at zero and it's dropped down. So now they're both on plane. So this one is reading exactly what this one would if it was moved up. And then all I do is I come in and I start tapping it over. until they line up together. Which I think I just went right by.
Alright. And now, I'll show you guys what I did here. So, we're reading 8 under 0 there and 8 under 0 here. So now we know these are both, this is perfectly parallel. Now, I always double check. So, I'm going to drop this one out of the way here. I wish I could put this camera in a better spot. Move the top indicator. Let's see if I can get you guys. You can see it, maybe. Alright, so we're preloaded, we're zeroed out, and we're going to drop down. And we're, we're one thousandths out. Over that, that entire distance. So I'm just gonna. Go back real quick and double check. I just lightly tapped it the direction it needed to move. Now I come up and I'm staying right dead on. So, no special tools, just two indicators. And, uh, you know, if you, if you have the ability, I don't. My indicators kind of, my indicator base is kind of suck. But the, the error I get mostly is from this movement here. Because I don't have anything on the, when I put this, the next indicator up top. I don't have anything to um, advance it forward, so I'm kind of playing it by hand. But it's a real quick way. I mean, this is a, I think, six minute, the six minute mark on the video. And some of that was just stopping to explain things. So within five minutes, you've got it, you know, dead nuts true. Everything's locked. And then I can come in here, lock these down, make sure that our uh, zero didn't move. There we go. I'd say we're good. So there's a, a ton of different ways to do it. You've got the different tools that you can make to go inside here that put two indicators out. You could put an indicator holder in here and sweep back and forth and keep hitting two points until you get it where it's level. Uh, but this way for me is a little bit, I think a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. You know, all you gotta do is put one indicator on, zero it, run it down, put the next indicator up, run it to zero, and then adjust them until they both give the same reading on the dial, and you're good. So, hope you guys uh, enjoy that and maybe learn something. Uh, this way, this method, is something I just came up with one day. I, I'm sure I probably learned something about it somewhere along the lines, but I was putting the mill back you know, tramming it back in one day, and I was like, you know, having all kinds of trouble going back and forth and back and forth. 
And then I thought about it, and I'm like, I can just throw two indicators on there. Once I get up the indicators aligned, I can just go till the, the, the dials meet, and it's going to be perfectly true.